Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about back, in particular, upper and lower back. With that being said, I'm going to pass you over to Jason who's going to explain more about what today's set is about. Exactly as Stephen's saying, for these exercises, basically we're going to work the upper and medium length of the back. Importantly as well, minimal equipment today, two different types of resistance bands, a 15 and a 25 kilo. Again, you can do these anywhere, they're fantastic. And essentially what we're looking to do here is we're going to strengthen, we're going to mobilize, and effectively these moves you can do very easily basically in most places. That's the great part of it. You're going to really enjoy it, get the most out of it, and it won't take you too long to do the set. As always, please remember to like, like the video, share it, leave a comment. We'll do our best to get back to you. And as always, keep spreading the good words and enjoy. Thank you. These are reverse flies. Now effectively what we're going to do here is you're going to basically work the upper part of your back and the top part of your shoulders. Now we're using a beam for this instance that's nice and sturdy. We've got a 15 kg resistance band and we're going to use that, take that behind us and we'll hold for a few seconds and pull back. It's a very similar move to what you'd probably use ordinarily with um, a bunch of hand weights but we're effectively here with it with the resistance band and we've got a mat there as well. Let's go for it. You got a lot of exes, but none of them know you better. The stories you've heard could be you and I. Hey, let me explain, get to the reason why it's not us. You know there's no one else that need you trust. You know what's truth deep inside. Won't you let it go? Once you lean on me, I'll catch you if you fall So take a leap of faith, your fixed idea is clouding up your mind Don't we'll stop until common sense applies The sun illuminates ahead Need you to let go Woo. For that, you have to have a little bit of tension Make sure you're holding that middle point and keep yourself as sturdy as possible on the ground. If you need to sort of pike your heels a little bit as well, that will help with the feet to keep you in place. Enjoy it, take your time, get the best out of it. Hi, I'm going to be performing a single arm cross using a 15 kilogram boot band. Essentially, this should work upper rhomboids on the right hand side of your body and the other side. Let's go. Hey, you're going to enjoy this exercise, both upper and lower back at the same time. Give it a go, hope you enjoy it. Performing single arm bent over rows, so effectively you normally would use this with a bar or a set of kettlebells or weights. And in this instance, 25 kilo resistance bands. We're going to have our position so that we're making sure our back is slightly cocked, our chest slightly raised, we've got a safe position 
Keep your knees slightly bent as so you're pulling all the way in towards the abdominal. Let's work that medial line at the back. All right, let's go for it. exercise keep that position maintained keep a good form you're gonna feel that resistance have that shake and most effective as well what's nice is you're also gonna work it back behind the tricep of the arms as you're reaching in again you can do this anywhere enjoy hi I'm going to be doing a single arm bent over row and what I'm going to be using is a 25 kg loop band the trick here is to do it sort of like this get your hand wrap it around the band like that and then pull from this side all right let's go When you do this exercise, although it's mainly for your shoulders, upper back, you are also going to feel it in your hamstrings, obviously because you're bent over and you're pulling. So you're going to feel it in your hamstrings and your glutes. Give it a go. I think you'll enjoy it. These are going to be overhead raises with resistance bands. Now we've got a 25 kg resistance band we're holding here. We've taken a slightly wider start than normal, so just beyond shoulder length, just so we can get better start stance on the ground and keep that position held throughout the exercise. Hands as well, that sort of shoulder width apart, and we're going to raise just above us, hold for two seconds each time. Let's go it. I wish that I could unlearn all the things you would do. Let me lose in that old feeling that I want you here with me. I want to push it on down, but it will not leave. It's like I'm losing my mind, turning wrong into right. I try to keep you away, but somehow, baby, you're still pulling me in, pulling me in. I'm like a moth to a flame, I should've known better But you're pulling me in, pulling me in There's something in those hazel lights There's something that I cannot fight I try to keep you away, but somehow baby You're still pulling me in, pulling me in The harder we fight, we go deeper it's only a part, we are weaker, so What are we waiting for? Oh, oh, oh. I try to keep you away, Woo! That exercise, you're gonna feel that throughout 
you feel your arms shake, which is good. Top of the shoulders, medial back, and again, a little bit in the hips. You're holding a stance. Enjoy. Hi, this is a seated back row. Um, what I'm going to be using is a 20, 15, sorry, 15 kilogram loop band. It's attached to a rig. Um, if you've got anything sturdy at home, just use that. Or if you're in the gym, find a rounded pole. Square poles are slightly different, more difficult to use, but we're using what we've got. Um, the idea here is that you grab onto it with both hands and perform a rowing action. Let's go. To a place I lost my place In the line to the house of shake Where I was hoping to find a babe, yeah For watching the video to the end if you have any questions then please leave them in this comment section and we will do our best to respond please also note that you can help the channel by liking subscribing and sharing thanks once again and we will see you in the next one Nice exercise to do, it's going to work your lower back and build the middle back. Again, because of the position that you're in, you're going to feel it in your hamstrings and your glutes. Give it a go, it's a nice exercise to do. Hope you enjoy doing it.